Now, from the University of Okaboji, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff D. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. Welcome to what's going to be a great weekend in the Iowa Great Lakes. I'm Jeff D. I have here with me, who is it? It's Kylie Zankowski. Hello. She is the Executive Director of Okaboji Tourism. It's the vacation in Okaboji, getting out there. And it says October... And sometimes, it, you know, I, there's leaves falling in my I know. In my finely coiffed hair. It's better than acorns, though. It is. I'll take a, a leaf gently yeah. falling than an acorn to the head. Very few concussions caused <laughs> by leaves. <laughs> but we've got such a great weekend, and, and, and uh, even looking ahead to the weekend following, and, and now we're going to start getting a little crisper weather when it makes it feel like fall. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's beautiful. We've lucked out with such a gorgeous fall. We're getting chilly mornings, but yeah. then really warm afternoons, and the leaves are starting to change. Yes. You know, driving over here, seeing all the leaves change along the lake, it's so beautiful, and it's a great time to come. All the time's great to come to Okaboji. It but is. Fall is a little partial to my heart. So. It's, it's it's partial to my heart as well, and and we get a sometimes have a little bit more of it to ourselves. You know, it's yeah. a little quieter, and yeah, and so. It's just a beautiful time. It's such a great time to come. There's so much to do still as well. You know, a lot of those main summer attractions are closed now, but there's so much for you to enjoy. A lot of those things that we kind of call hidden gems or off the beaten path yeah. are really the heart and soul of our fall time. And so, of course, recreational activities are huge right now. Yeah. We've got hunting, fishing. Fishing is wonderful right now. It's mm -hmm. so calm out there watching those fishermen. Um, and if you haven't seen the information out on the paddlefish, that is really, really the, cool. They're re working on introducing them. Yes, tagging and reintroducing the paddlefish to the lake. So that's amazing. Go check out the hatchery, um, see the information there. Go on the bike trails. I was going to say, fishing. what a great time to be on our trails. Holy cow, the trails are beautiful and they just keep expanding. We've talked about it a couple times, but mm -hmm. there's a trail all the way to Lake Park now. So yeah. you can ride from here to Lake Park, check out some of their stores and businesses, their lake there. Come back here. Um, you know, they're working on that trail to Spencer, which is really exciting. Yes. So you're going to be able to go all over the corridor now by bike yeah. or by feet whatever you want to do yeah, it's, you can it's get great. rid of your car if you're interested yeah. <laughs> very eco-friendly yeah, yes. eco-friendly here in the island great yes. lake a yeah. slower lifestyle yeah. <laughs> yeah. much slower yeah uh, we got a great weekend i know we got activities uh, of course there's uh the the pumpkin patch out uh, east of uh, or west of melford yep and the Grove, the and Grove, then yep. apple picking. Um, you can head out to Little Sioux Orchard as well. That's a great place for you to go with your family. They've got fun activities. They've got their corn maze, their apple launchers. They make their own ciders oh, there. Yeah. Um, so it's a ton of fun. Great family activity, date night activity. Um, they are open only on the weekends, but okay. they do open by appointment on the week as well. Okay. So just right. give them a call. Well, and then when you what you pick, you can come home and then have, have added on to the day with a little apple crisp or apple pie. Yeah. yeah. Sweet treat at the end of the day. <laughs> at the uh, Dickens County Museum, they've got a family fun. It's Life on the Prairie, and they're yes. going to be. They've got that big old covered wagon in there, and talking about people coming from the East Coast, you know, 120 years ago, and they could bring like one item. Yeah. And the rest was provisions, and you can actually kind of relive that. A lot of fun. Starts at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yeah, that's going to be so cool. And if you haven't seen the new plans for their museum, holy cow, check that out because it's going to be amazing. Um, just the interactive aspect that they're going to bring in, the education, the history of the railroads here is really, really cool. It is. Um, and so to introduce that in a family-friendly way is going to be a great destination um, for people to enjoy, too, and museums in general. We talk about it all the time, yeah. but we have 13 museums here, yeah. and I mean, three right here at the park that you can enjoy and another one within walking distance. And they're so fun. They're interactive. They're educational. Yeah. Um, just something you should definitely check out. They're great when it's sunny or it's raining and they're open year round. Yeah. So. Yeah. Take advantage of, it, advantage of it this uh, off time of the year. Go see yeah. your museums. Yeah. Uh, next weekend, I know the Iowa Great Lakes Area Chamber, they're having an annual event out at, with our friends at Camp Foster. Yes. This is such a fun event. I can't remember if it's on its fourth year now I believe yeah. um, but the Iowa Great Lakes Fall Festival we've seen people come from hundreds of miles away for this event it's so much fun invite your family up for a weekend and go to Fall Festival there's a whole bunch of activities for you to enjoy from coloring to trick-or-treating to um, s'mores at the campfire yeah. to different games and it's so much fun to have the kids get an extra opportunity to wear their costume 
or not, yeah. uh, come on out to camp, ride on out into the middle of camp, see camp for the first time or multiple times, get some treats, and just have a ton of fun. Yeah, and you can check out all the information on that, okabojichamber.com, and uh, for anything happening here in the Iowa Great yes. Lakes, of course, Vacation Okaboji. Yeah, we've got so much fun going on. There's still the Harvest Fest and and fun music going on on the rooftop. We're, they're going to do that as long as they can with that, well, that nice weather. weather. Yeah. Yeah. Friday night you can go up here on the Lakeview deck and listen to some great music and then football on the deck on Saturdays yeah. and Sundays. and. Yeah, and speaking of football, we have so many great places to watch football. Yeah. So many places are still open. You can go to the Okaboji store. You can go to the venue. Uh, you can go all over the place and just watch games, dine, enjoy so much that we have to offer here. So come on, have a weekend, and have some fun. And the great thing is Iowa State and Vikings fans are actually enjoying this season. <laughs> it's a great season. <laughs> Amazing. We'll take it over and over. It. I jinxed it. <laughs> As we're looking at the Vikings yeah, case and, yeah, and, and the Iowa State Yeah, shirt. Iowa State, yeah. We're, we're always hopeful and yes. sometimes dashed. But hey, that's okay. This could be, we're 5 we'll and take all. it while we can and we'll cheer no matter what. That's absolutely yeah, right. tried and true. All right, Kylie, thank you again for being here with Thanks me and enjoying me. this beautiful day. Yeah, Vacation Okaboji all the time. That's all right. We would love to have you come Vacation Okaboji because we are very welcoming people. Yes. And hope you have a wonderful weekend, safe weekend. Thank you for watching us right here on Okaboji, Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you in part by West Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisor Jan Spielman, A.J. Spielman, and Erica Wachholz. The headquarters of the University of Okaboji Boji is at the Three Suns, open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 5, and Sunday from 10 to 4. Bank Midwest, dream big, plan wisely, live well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake. Be Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. 